Today's August the 20th, and uh, we're out scouting a new piece of public ground. This is a marsh unit, is what we're going to call it, I believe. Never been over here before. We just started looking at aerial maps um, last night, trying to decide which areas to come into. And today is what I would consider the perfect day for scouting during the summer. Um, what just happened last night, we had a, a rainstorm blow through, and it, it pushed a little cold front in right behind it and woke up today we got northwest winds 15 to 25 miles an hour and the temperature is down in the mid to high 60s and the reason why i really like these cold fronts during late august is because this is when the very first acorns are starting to drop if you remember back last year we were in our big woods unit around this same exact time had the same thing happen a cold front come through with high winds and uh, the white oaks were dropping a lot last year we got in the, that timber and saw uh, several mature bucks, you know, a bachelor group of velvet bucks back in there, and those deer will move onto those things like that. Um, last year we hit it on the day that those oaks first started dropping, and those deer were a mile off the beans back in there on the oak trees, the same one, the same bachelor group that we had been filming all summer. So today is when I would say that transition starts to happen, at least in our area. So I'm looking a lot for acorns today. Um, we're scouting this area, we're trying to find bedding areas and feeding areas and that sort of thing. But uh, I'm looking really hard at these oak trees. And in our area, you can see we got a white oak over my shoulder here. There's uh, not a lot of white oak acorns this year. Um, to my knowledge, white oaks bear their, their best crop of acorns every two to four years. And last year we had a pretty great crop, um, at least in my hunting spots. So I'm not noticing very many white oaks. And uh, what I am noticing are these little babies here. And these are freshly fallen, I mean, just in the last few days. And the deer are already in here eating them. There's plenty of deer sign. I don't know exactly what these are. I think these are black oaks, but I'm not positive of that. And uh, I'm, I'm looking up in some of these other trees down through here. There's a few red oaks, and those are absolutely loaded. So what, I, what I'm keying in on, more specifically than that, aren't just acorns, but I'm trying to find these acorns right up next to buck bedding areas. And as you can see over my shoulder back here, we've got this big marsh. And from an aerial photo, I can see the trails coming out of that thing. I assume the deer are bedding in that marsh. So I'm looking to hunt these oaks right along that transition line of that marsh. There's, you know, ag fields out here and then a thin strip of trees right here that does have some oak trees in it and obviously some acorns. And then you got bedding on the other side. So to catch these deer up in daylight, especially during October, I'm going to be keying in on these oaks. But right now is when those deer start that transition. So keep an eye out for that. Go out and um, do some acorn scouting in your area. It looks like, like I said, we've got black oaks in here, maybe some pin oaks, and uh, the red oaks are loaded full, but those haven't fallen just yet. So I'm definitely gonna be keying in on red oak acorns here in the next few weeks up next to these bedding areas. 